Hi, um, right, we're going to strip out this iPhone 4. Um, this one has got the pentalobe screws in the bottom, so therefore it was manufactured around about November and after. Um, so, first off, we just remove these screws, slide the back off, uh, so slide down, slide it off, and take out the sim card and you know the sim card tray and the sim card so as that done we're going to remove the battery i'm going to use a plastic pry tool here to lift up the battery now be careful don't go in too deep just get underneath the little metal tab there because you go too deep i can assure you you stand a high chance of pulling the battery connector off the board Okay, sometimes the battery is very difficult, it won't lift with that uh, little plastic tab. You have to prise it from the back end, but do it, don't do it near the volume control because you could damage the, uh, the flex cable there. Okay, so this, uh, this is the uh, cover for the um, antenna, uh, which is held down by the battery screw. Uh, so we'll fold back this little tab here, and the first thing we're going to do is remove the vibration motor. Two screws here. It's always a good idea to lay out your screws. If you get a piece of paper, do a rough sketch of the phone um, and just mark off what you think is a small screw head, large screw head, and just place those screws on that piece of paper um, because then you won't make the mistake of putting long screws in short holes because uh, believe you me, they do have different threads on, on these and you can actually end up damage, damaging threads. Um, now we're removing the, the plate for the uh, dock ribbon flex. Uh, it's a little black plate over the top, just lift it up. Put that with the two screws that you've just taken off. Okay, so now we've done that side of things we're just going to remove the moisture sensor with a craft knife just get underneath and just just push it to one side there right that's that done so next thing we need to remove the uh, cover plate this is also part of the the wi-fi area of this cover plate this long screw i'm taking out here there's uh, a metal bracket on the, little metal bracket which sometimes can come adrift if it comes adrift I can assure you that your Wi-Fi will be substantially reduced in terms of range um, it's a long screw that's there so that's the really long one taken out then this uh, side screw which serves to hold the logic board down as well then there's um, the two screws um, near to the camera and this one I'm going to next is the smallest screw. It's a very, very tiny screw. So remember, that's where that really tiny screw goes. Uh, th these uh, screwed this to the same of this particular one. Okay, now that's off, just slip a craft knife gently behind there, pull the tab back, and you should find that that plate will come off. Okay, right, next off let's um, release uh, a few connections now i'm going to use a plastic pry tool um, don't go in too far just enough that's the one for the camera this one here is for the digitizer you notice where i'm prying up this one here is for the lcd and you notice i'm doing it right on the end very gently so these are the ones for the camera uh, the on off sleep button and the volume control uh, also the headphone jack as well so that's where we are on on that side do not use a metal screwdriver to pry up because on the board by the side and certainly one by the side of the LCD there's some very very tiny components and I've seen one video on YouTube where he's digging in with uh, a screwdriver I can guarantee you're going to do some damage irreparable damage uh, very expensive repair right we're lifting the dock uh, ribbon flex you'll notice there's some um, tape on the back there which is like a, a conductive in, you know tape um, 
to gently pry that back up, just release the, um, the aerial there. So the next thing we're going to do is just lift out the camera and we're going to take out the, the remaining three screws. Now this one's a post screw, you'll need a flat screwdriver for this. Uh, and you'll see this is um, has another screw slot in the top for the plate uh, to screw down into. So put that near the plate. Okay, you're back to your star screwdriver and remove the final two screws here. It was a record time for me to change uh, a screen on uh, an iPhone 4. It's 25 minutes uh, so far. Um, I don't think I could do it in 20 minutes. Um, 25 minutes was going some. Anyway, we're just uh, lifting up the logic board after checking we've got all the connections off. Um, this one is missing a little um, rubber uh, bumper. Um, it's, well, it's a protector to stop the um, LCD and the digitizer cable from chafing on the logic board. Okay, next we're going to remove the speaker box aerial. Um, it's a speaker box with the aerial antenna um, attached to it. It's just one screw and lift it out. Now watch it, this magnet, this is magnetic, it will pick up screws. And if you don't watch it, you're putting it back together and you're trying to push it down and you find that a screw stuck. Right, we're taking out the four corner screws now um, to start releasing the LCD screen. And there's one in each corner. All four screws are the same size. Notice I use a magnetic screwdriver. Well, it's not magnetic, there's a little magnet which uh, you'll find in scrap laptops and normally in the lids. Um, so there's four of these to take out. Once we've released those, we'll go for the remaining six. And there's six that are left over of um, washes on. And here they are. There's three one side. And three the other side. Now I just back them off one turn. I don't take them out all the way. Uh, because they're awfully fiddly to, to put back in. So back off one turn. And then once we've done this, we're ready to prise off the, the LCD screen using a, a pry tool. I start off normally up the home button end and then just gently find yourself a little gap there and just gently prise it up. Once you've worked one side, now there's adhesive on the other side of this. Don't go in too deep because you might catch the ribbon flex for the home button. Once you've done that, you can pull it apart. Just ease the flexes through. Don't discard the, um, the screen just as yet. Okay, you will have fragments of glass. Now I tend to use the Stanley blade just to clean them away. Make sure there's none left in the groove around uh, that area and certainly make sure there's none underneath the home button. So just gently scrape it off. Um, if there's a lot of glass on there, it's advisable to replace the, the tape, the adhesive. Anyway, uh, part two, I'll show you how to put the screen um, back on one of these. Uh, watch out for that. Cheers now.